Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon memorial fest? Voyager review. Is it wrong to try to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? It's a light novel series that has inspired several seasons of anime as well as manga adaptations and spin up material. Today, I'm here to review the latest manga spin up Make It to the Quest. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon memorial fest when you want? Does it delight? Let's find out. Readers might be familiar with the name Memorial Fest already. It's a subtitle for the Danmachi Momo game, and this manga is an adaptation of one of the limited time story events that ran in the game. In this story, Belle and the members of the Hestia family have been busy preparing for the Holy Night Festival, which looks very similar to Christmas, and doing odd jobs in Saber from a special dress for Hestia. And that's accomplished. The gang goes down to celebrate the festivities, but it's not long before they run into the mysterious girl called Tarvi, who's out the place of the city of Orario. For one thing, she has antlers on her head and she is clearly not an adventurer here to tackle the dungeon. Worse still, Tarvi has found herself in trouble and is being pursued by some worldly captors. Naturally, Belle isn't about to leave a girl alone to face trouble all on her own, so he vows to protect her while showing her around the festival. Belle and familiar member Arobhime quickly grow attached to Tarvi, and by the end of the night, a bunny friendship is blooming between the three, so much that they don't want to say goodbye to their new friend. But all good things must come to an end, particularly when it's revealed that Tarvin is someone of importance standing back on her own country, and they can do before their character is making memories that will not stay with each, each of them forever. <coughs> I'm drawing there are four chapters included. Here in volume 1, a memorial phrase. The story doesn't get very far, so much time is spent in the Nicho meeting with Tarvi and then going around the festival. That at the time you reach the end of the book, it feels as though it's only just getting out of the setting. Of course, if you're someone who's played the game but is committed to Danmachi fan, this is unlikely to cause your problem, as you certainly be on the book coke for more either way. If a newcomer to the franchise, they will say this is not a good introduction to it. There are some info boxes explaining who the characters are and covering key locations, but I think you still find yourself confused. If you are an existing fan of the franchise, you will find the home of reading into this around volume 7 of the original light novels, or season 2 of the anime adaptation. It's difficult to pin the timeline, exactly, but at the very least, it's after Haruhime's introduction. Memorial Fresh story has been handled by the video game team as opposed to the original creator, Fujino Omori, but despite that, it seems like something that the author will write for the main series, which works in his favor. It may not hit similar highs by the end, but we're off to a good start. Our prep for this manga adaptation has been handled by Yu Shiomura, who has a couple of other series under her belt in Japan, but it serves as the en English debut. The art is as detailed, and Shiomura does a good job of capturing the cast and the action scenes. Certainly, this doesn't look out of place, alongside other Danmachi manga, and I think Shiomura has done a great job of depicting the charm of Belle and his companions. What will be interesting to see going forward is whether this manga only adapts the Holy Night trauma, trauma rate event or if it stick around the cover the stories told in the game. At the time of writing, there are two more volumes available in Japan, but both of these appear to be a part of this arc, so it's too early to say what will happen afterwards. Is it wrong to try to pick across the dungeon memorial fresh? Paul Paul Yuan comes to the West, thanks to Young Press, he has a translation by Dale DeLucia with lettering by Carolina Hernandez. DeLucia also works in the English light novel releases, which means all the names of terminology here are consistent, with no issues to note. This release includes several color pages at the beginning and the short story written by author Fujino Amori, so certainly plenty for fans of the franchise to enjoy. As previously mentioned, the series is ongoing in Japan with three volumes currently available. In English, Yen Press is a volume 2 of schedule for release in December with no date currently listed for 3. Taking it slow with this one, ultra understandable, given how little is out overseas right now. Overall, it's a wrong trying to pick girls in the dungeon Memorial Friends Volume 1 because in this video game adaptation of the solid start but it's not newcomer friendly and it's aimed more at the seasoned fan at the franchise. There's certainly plenty of joy here if you fit within that category. A review copy from Young Price was supplied by Diamond Book Distributors UK, 7 out of 10.